Today's project is putting this trolling motor board on the back of the boat. For all the tubers that watch my videos, I worked for about 25, 30 years in the boat industry, repairing boats and machinery and putting accessories on. So we're going to put a kicker motor on here so when he goes out on Whitefish Bay, he can use it to do the trolling instead of running the big mariner. And this is the motor. Not a lot of light over here, but it's a brand spanking new 1980s Yamaha. Six horsepower Yamaha. This is the motor right here. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Brand new, brand spanking new. Motor, new old stock. All right, let's see how this thing fits, and that's where we want to mount it. Got to make sure it clears that. So let's turn the motor. See how it's kind of in the path there. So let's see what happens when we lower the motor. So the downriggers look like they'll clear the motor. Oh yeah, easily. But I can run it out like this. Also. Yeah, you don't want it in the propeller. No, that's for damn sure. Especially when you lift that eight pound cannonball up so it doesn't swing and hit the motor. Because if it's rocking, it'll swing like this. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so is that where you want to mount it? Yeah, that's good. If everything inside's okay. Well, we'll look inside before we start yeah. drilling. Okay. Well, there's the power head. Oh, wow. We're going to put a new water pump impeller in it, seeing it's sat for like, since it was brand new. I think it's a, a mid-80s motor. Uh, 85 is what it says on the, on the uh, thing here, the tag. 1985? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to take a chance on the water pump impeller. So it's going to get a new one before we run it. And it has the fuel tank, too. Brand new fuel tank. Three gallon job. Okay. Let's uh, get the motor off and start okay. looking to see where we're going to drill and mount. Okay, you can see where the, the Mariner bolts there. And the motor board holes are about just above this bolt so if we go from about where the mariner is bolted or even up you know just maybe a little bit and we won't hit anything that's a trim pump for the mariner so that's out of the way put a dual battery system in the boat last year and yeah. or the year before and put a side scan sonar in it so all right let's you might want to Let's, have to tell your viewers about that side scan later on when we we'll get do the a little. Done. We take it out. We'll take a little video of it working. Yeah, it's pretty well, slick. It's really and we've neat. taken it out on the water and using it. It is really slick. We took it in the Taquamanon River. You can see the river bottom. So the top bolts will come through the top there. Yeah, right. Okay. So we're all good. Okay. okay. It's all bolted on nice and solid. We use this to seal it. You don't want to use a, a cheap caulk. Use a good waterproof caulk and really caulk all of where your bolts go through both sides and in the, get it in the... because that's wood in the transom. It's an aluminum boat, but yeah, it still has wood in the transom in between. You don't want that wood to get wet and rot. And fiberglass boats have plastic over the wood too, so a lot of people don't realize a plastic boat isn't all plastic. The stringers and transom and stuff still wood, as this boat has a wood transom. So you don't want it to rot. Okay. Alright, it's all on. You just pull this this way. Wait a minute, this. I can't see what you're pulling. This. And then you can lower the motor and let go of it. And it latches down and you can start your motor and kind of 
steer around. I might be able to make an apparatus to go from from the Mariner to here. I don't know. It hangs out a little far. Usually these don't, you know, the brackets. So you can turn both motors at the same yeah, time right. with the helm. But I don't know if be able to do that with this one because it hangs out quite a ways. But they do make apparatuses to do that. But I think we'll just call that good. Because you're going to be fishing from back here anyway. Yeah, so you're yeah. going to want to steer it easily enough from there. From sure. Back here, yeah. Oh, that's terrific, Howard. That's just. I'm going to put the motor back up. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, very good. Very good. And it all clears the Mariner. Actually, we've set the pin so it tilts back just a smidge further and it clears the fin of the Mariner fine like that. So it's all good, all bolted on, ready to go. We'll mix up some some gas. I think with being a new motor, we'll double the oil. First tank, double the oil on it. These, I think, run on 50 to 1. We'll run it on about 25 to 1. So. Yeah, nice motor. Brand, yeah. brand spanking. Brand spanking new. I need to get some wax and yeah, clean it up. Clean the handprints off. Yeah, from our hands on it. Yeah.